Cheers, moonshiners. We've made it to rank 15. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the things we've learned, good and bad, for the new update. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here, and thanks for checking out today's video. We're going to be talking about the Moonshiner update. Uh, we've made it to rank 15 so far this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, learn a little bit of stuff, because we've learned quite a lot. And uh, let us know down in the comments what your best thing you like about it and what kind of issues you're having, because there are definitely a lot. So as you can see, we are down in one of the best things about this update, the speakeasy. We have ours fully unlocked, got the band going. Uh, well, they're not playing right now. They are kind of, it's it's a little early in the morning. We need to get some, we need to get some friends down here and... Uh, a little bit of fun we can get this place a hopping but i'm really actually enjoying the bar the bar part of the game right now is a lot of fun when you have friends we actually go in and, and invite everybody in the lobby sometimes and get a whole bar full of people just having fun uh, interacting being social in the game that's what we really like about the game as you probably know if you watch most of our videos just having fun so definitely watch for those invites guys if you're in the community on playstation 4 we'll definitely be having a lot of bar nights on wednesdays when we open up the, the lobby but moving on to the actual role of the Moonshiner. There are a lot of good things, and unfortunately right now there are a lot of bad things in the game. Uh, we do have Marcel over here. He is kind of like your Crips at your camp. You have your own trader table. Now, we've been working through this quite a lot. As like I said, we've ranked up to rank 15. We've done quite a lot of deliveries. We've had quite a lot of deliveries actually fail on us as well. As well, a lot of our posse mates have also had issues with uh, various things in the Moonshiner role. We'll get into all of them here. Um, but what we've learned, uh, there's two basic things to the Moonshiner role. Basically the same thing as a trader, right? The trader has your, your supplies you need to do resupplies for, and then you have the materials where you need to go hunting. So we have those two basic things as a Moonshiner as well. We have our mash. So the mash actually is kind of like, I would say, the supplies. But you can't just actually go and do a run and get them for free. Um, you do have to pay for them. But there is a way to make them cheaper. And that's what the missions that Maggie has up above us called the bootlegger mission. So one good thing about the Moonshiner though is the timeline is pretty set in stone. When you start a Moonshine production, there's three different production levels you can choose. And those are unlocked through the roll ranks. You start with weak moonshine. Weak moonshine will always take 30 minutes to produce 20 bottles. So you know you have 30 minutes until that delivery is ready. The average, of course, will take 45 minutes to produce. You unlock that at rank 5 when you purchase the upgraded still. And then the strong takes an hour to unlock. And you unlock that at rank 10 when you purchase the polished still. And for Twitch Prime members, that is free. Now, just like with the trader... The more goods, or the better your moonshine, the more money it's worth. So we've noticed with the weak shine, most of them are under $100. They're about 80 to 60 to 80 bucks, depending on the buyer and the flavoring. We'll get into that next. The average moonshine ranges from like 130 to 150 And then the strong moonshine is usually right around 200 to up to uh, 240 So for an hour of production time, 240 isn't too bad. What you need to watch out, though, is the money it takes to make the production. So when you first try to make a mash, it's $40. Actually, it might even be $50. But the more times you do bootlegger missions, it actually lower that. So before you start a production, we highly recommend talking to Maggie, doing a bootlegger mission, getting that price down. You can get it all the way down. I think I've gotten mine down to $10 bucks by doing a couple of them. There is a cooldown between them, so it does take a little bit longer. But you can get that mash price down to about 10 bucks to start that production. That's actually the easy part to figure out in the Moonshiner roll. The next is the flavoring. This one's taken us a while to kind of get some sort of handle on it. I know all you guys are probably trying to figure it out as well. Um, I got one running right now, so it's gonna be kind of hard to go into it too much. The main thing you wanna look at is what kind of, or what strength shine you're gonna make. So how long is it gonna take you to make it? Uh, Cause that is gonna reflect on what flavor you should make. Uh, right now, we have half of our shine made. Um, so we actually we have about, actually I have less than a half an hour because one more thing you can do at rank 15 is unlock uh, the ability to cut those times down. So I think my times went from 30, 45, an hour. They went down just a few minutes. I think it's 24, uh, 34, and maybe 48. So you, you do, do a little bit quicker. 
And I'll show a screenshot of that here later on exactly when we get there when we get this done here for those times. That's at rank 15. As far as the flavoring you want to pick, you want to look and see what today's requests are. You can also click on Square on your PlayStation here and you can see the buyers. So you can see that these buyers are all the buyers that are looking for stuff right now. Now all of the buyers in here have a reset time. If you look at the bottom of this menu, it actually has a buyer resets in 1 hour and 31 minutes. So that's pretty good for us, actually, because our moonshine will be done before that time. So right now we are cooking appleberry crumb. So if we go in here, there is someone looking for appleberry crumb right now, as you can see right here. So when this moonshine is done, we have probably another hour to go sell it to them uh, and then that will reset and they might not be looking for it right now so you kind of got to do the timing and figure out what you want if we go through all these there might be one that's worth more that we actually could sell the wild creek mint i don't have any plum so right now the best one to keep going is apple berry now you can change these i could click on berry crumb moonshine and change the recipe right now right in the middle of it and it shouldn't do anything uh, these are the same price apple berry crumb and berry cobbler so we'll do that real quick we'll add a flavor uh, as you can see right there all it really did was take the ingredients that I needed um, I highly recommend also going through all of these and just purchasing a whole bunch of stuff that you need to make them uh, I just went in and bought a whole bunch of apples peaches some canned food unfortunately I had to go back to camp and pick all that stuff up because there's no lockbox at the shack rockstar if you're watching this man that is one thing we seriously need is a lockbox at our shack Hit that like button if you guys agree with that, because that is definitely needed. So we just changed our stuff to the Berry Cobbler. It shouldn't do anything to our actual production. We still should be able to make that pretty easily. And then uh, when we are ready to sell, this buyer should still want that. So we should be able to sell it. If you don't already have a production going, you want to go in here and see what people are looking for. And you also want to see what the timer reset is. Because if you see, ooh, this person wants apple berry, I should make that. And you make it, and you're making it, let's say, um, like, I'm making strong stuff because it's just like the trader. The more, the higher up on the tier, the more money and the more XP you're getting. So we usually stick with that. It does take longer to do, but then in the long run, it's worth more. So if I make this apple berry crumb from scratch, it's going to take me, at this time, 48 minutes because I do have rank 15. Um, if the buyer reset was in 20 minutes... It might not be a good thing to do because after that resets you definitely want to come back here and check and see if somebody still wants appleberry crumb because if they don't you have to gonna have to sell it to the generic guy and that guy gives you way less there is a guy that will always buy what you want i highly recommend uh to watch this buyer reset if your moonshine is not going to be done before this buyer reset is complete get back here before your moonshine is complete and change your flavoring to something new that the buyer will want when your moonshine is done. You definitely don't want to run into uh, having a delivery of a special flavor that no good buyer wants and only the default buyer guy wants because he doesn't give you much money, doesn't give you much XP. So definitely remember that. Watch that buyer reset time and use that timing to figure out what you want to sell and when to make it. So right now our stuff is making it about a little over two minutes a bottle because we are making strong so it Standard that takes 60 minutes to make 20, which equals out to exactly three minutes a bottle. Uh, we did hit rank 15 last night, so it did cut it down a little bit. So I think it was like two, two minutes and 20 seconds a bottle, I think. So we got about 14 minutes. Uh, we're going to talk about some other stuff. Of course, we'll fast forward a little bit in the video and we'll see what it looks like when it's all completed. So, of course, the best ways to get ranked up in any role is to just do the role. So you always want to have something going. Uh, you, of course, will get more XP the better shine you're making because just like the trader roll, you get more XP for a medium, long, large delivery. There's nothing to do with any distance. All the deliveries are about the same. There's also ways to get XP with uh, Maggie here. The bootlegger missions kind of relate to the resupplies. Uh, they're pretty easy to do. Uh, once you do them, they do make your mass production price go down. So... They do help you with XP and they do help to make your production price cost lower to make your profits better. Maggie also offers story missions. Uh, I'm not sure how many there are. I have done three so far. Right now we have the fourth one here. I imagine there's probably only four. This one does called A Bitter Means to the Bitter End, so it probably is the last one. 
really not much XP. They definitely are great to do. I highly recommend going through all four of them. I haven't done the fourth one yet because we've been grinding, trying to get up to level at least rank 15 to make this video for you guys so we get a little more understanding of everything. Uh, but the story behind it is awesome. I wish there kind of was a little bit of a story behind the other trader or the other roles uh, in general. The story behind the bootlegger is pretty great. I highly recommend doing those. XP wise, they're not great. You get about three to 400 roll XP for doing them. Help you a little bit. The bootlegger missions, you get about the same. Uh, of course, you do get a increase in that if you have the outlaw pass. I think you get 15% right off the bat. And once you get that ranked up, kind of high to like 50 or so you bump up to that 25 percent so so far we found four different bootlegger missions there's uh, go clear out a roadblock of revenue agents pretty easy there uh, there's also go clear out a rival a moon, moonshiner camp and uh, destroy their stills that's pretty easy as well and i think you also might get more xp if you actually sneak in there and poison it we've tried quite a lot and it's definitely hard there's also a mission we've done where we had to go to a certain bar and help escort a fellow drunk uh, around town to get him safely to the doctor. Uh, we did that in uh, Santa Anita one time. And then there's uh, these ones. I can't believe Rockstar has added this little mission here where you got to go to a bar and fight a whole bunch of people. I don't know if Rockstar watches my channel. I uh, ho hopefully wish they do and check out all the feedback we give back. But... The bar we have down below in our shack, uh, drinking and having fun down there with our posse and our community, and getting to go to a bar and get an XP to get in a fight. Uh, this update should be called the Austin BMX Community Update because if you guys haven't watched our channel, that's all we ever do in the game anyway. So we've been having lots of fun. The game definitely has had a lot of issues with the roll, and uh, we've been frustrated quite a lot getting black screened. Take that, sucker! <laughs> And, oh, but we've got two of them on us. We've been having a lot of fun getting ranked up a lot. A lot of uh, issues as well. Black screen. I hope they get those fixed. But all the fun that you could do in the game right now with this role just speaks to our community and what we like to do. So we've been having tons of fun. With This guy just kicked me off the stair rail. <laughs> we've been having so much fun with this role. I hope you guys have too. As you can see, we beat everybody up and this is our mash ingredients cost reduced. So you want to go do all these bootlegger missions to get that mash production reduced. Uh, you Once you reduce it, it'll either carry over to your current production that you're going to start. Um, it will never do anything, give you money back to when it's already started. So we should see a reduction in our mash price for our next delivery. So while this current production is being done, the hour that it takes, do a couple of these bootlegger missions. That way on your next... Uh, production run your mash will be a lot cheaper okay so he's marshall has told us that we have a batch ready to go you can see we have 20 bottles ready to go um good thing to get xp though you get xp every time a batch gets completed you get xp every time you start a batch uh, you get xp every time you do a delivery you get xp every time you do one of those bootlegger missions as well as the story missions for maggie and you do get xp every time you serve stuff at your bar now we have seen some comments and other people talking about that the uh, serving alcohol from your bar does slow down your production rate. I can't confirm or deny that. I definitely don't know uh, how much it slows down. If it does, we've been doing deliveries quite a lot this weekend. Haven't seen much of delivery slow down and we've drinking a lot of moonshine from our bar all weekend. So I definitely don't know if that is a thing. If it is, it definitely hasn't affected us very much. We haven't noticed it. But keep that in mind. But as we stated, as you can see, once your production is complete, you can't change the flavoring. So you want to get in here maybe when you're at uh, 18 or 19 bottles and check that flavoring. See if it's still a good sale. Uh, we did that earlier. So if we go to the moonshine sale, we should have this person who wanted this berry cobbler moonshine. And they'll give us 206 bucks because they don't reset for another hour and eight minutes. Uh, if, if that reset did happen while our production was in process and we didn't do anything we may not have anybody that wants the berry see all these guys want something else all we could sell to would be mr burt and burt doesn't give you much money uh, it's really a lot less i believe on a weak moonshine he's only about 60 bucks compared to about 90 as you can see we could sell to hal for 206 bucks or burt so definitely get in here before your moonshine is complete production and make sure you're not going to miss out on that sale because there is 
a time window and uh, it's really hard to get that figured out with this new role. So that's one big tip there guys, to make sure you're watching for that. All right, so every moonshine delivery is fairly easy. The one thing you gotta be careful with is uh, breaking moonshine. As you can see, we do have a health bar on our wagon. So you kinda wanna go slow. Um, when you're going slow through here, you just wanna go nice and easy. Uh, all the moonshining deliveries are about the same. You're gonna have one roadblock with some revenue agents in front of you. After that roadblock, you should have a couple waves of them come behind you. Should be pretty dang easy to take care of. Just make sure you're staying on the road. Now there are lots of different shacks to pick on. Well, there's five. Our easiest and best one we found so far is here in the Bayou Noir. Uh, the Bayou Noir uh, definitely is the easiest because it's pretty flat and open roads. Uh, easy to make a delivery. We have done a lot in the Grizzlies. Uh, Tall Trees isn't too bad as well. Um, but if you're starting out high in the mountains, you might have some hard times getting around some trees and you bang that moonshine around. Anytime that bar goes down a little bit, you will lose money and XP at the end because you won't be delivering a full delivery. So we're going to make it kind of easy here. Try to get this full delivery over there and get our XP. Now you do need to be careful because your deliveries can get destroyed by other players. The one good thing though, unlike long deliveries, is they're not... Oh man, I got to take care of these guys before they blow up my bottles. Oh, we got a posse member that jumped in helping us out. Thanks, EJ, for that, man. Where's this last guy at? Take care of him for us. You take care of those guys. So you can get your stuff destroyed. Looks like we might have lost one bottle right here. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but the one good thing is you don't show up on the map as you're doing a delivery like the long deliveries on the trader route. So it is a little easier, but definitely be mindful of other players. Uh, they, they might want to try to blow your stuff up. Looks like we might have lost one bottle. That that little notch we have there could be one bottle. We might get it only 19 sold. We still should be a pretty good sale. There we go. Nice easy sale. We got over here, yeah, 19 of 20. Uh, we've gotten 20 quite a lot. Uh, 18 is the worst we've ever gotten when we were first starting and running into a little stuff. So take it easy. Make sure you get those guys shot when they come up. Um, almost 1,000 XP for that. Not too bad. Just hit rank 16. There we go. Definitely get in there, guys, and uh, get yourself the moonshine and roll. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Definitely make sure you get it. looks like uh, actually EJ is doing one of the bootlegger missions right now. He met us over here. He's got to escort that guy to a bar. That's awesome. Go ahead and follow that guy. Make sure he gets from the bar to the pharmacy nice and safe and get yourself some XP. I'll see you back at the shack. <laughs> All right, so now we've made a delivery. We just got to go back and start production again. As we said, first thing you need to do is get the mash going. Uh, this normally is, I think, 50 possibly. You did see us do in this video one of... The bootlegger mission, so it dropped it down to 30. I'm pretty sure if I went up to Maggie right now and did another one before I started this, that mash production price would only be $10. Uh, before the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it done. Now here's the hard part. Uh, you can't go check the recipes right now, so you need to think, what do I wanna make? Now we're gonna make it strong because we, it's just like making long deliveries. We always wanna make the best so we get the most return at the end. Especially if you're charging 30 bucks. It only costs you the same amount of mash price no matter what you're doing. So to get ranked up in this and actually make money at the beginning, it's kind of slow. Stick with it, guys. Once you're able to get all the way unlocked to the strong, you'll start making pretty good money, actually, compared to the trader. The collector role is still fantastic once we get all the collections fixed out. That's for another video. But I'm going to go ahead and pick strong. Now we have a strong production going. We know in exactly 48 minutes, although unless we go drink a whole bunch of it, it might go down. But in 48 minutes, we should have a delivery to go. That's pretty good to be able to do timing. So now we can go to flavoring. We know in 48 minutes. Uh, as you can see, we're at a pretty good time because the buyer resets are going to reset in 59 minutes. So all these buyers right here should still want this moonshine when our stuff is ready. Uh, so we're going to go through some of these. Uh, right now we have the greens to make two of them. Berry cobbler and apple berry crumb. They're both worth 206 bucks. A couple of them are worth a little more. I don't have the ingredients for that. Uh, all you need to do is just go in and figure out what those ingredients are. This one, we need one creek plum. You can go find one of those. Spiced Island Moonshine. It looks like I need a little bit of currant, which I should have a whole bunch of anyway, but I think I made a whole bunch of horse meal recently. So you can go find some currant and make those. But right now, the apple berry crumb seemed to work pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and pick that. As you can see, you get Moonshine XP every time you actually start a process. The process ends and you do delivery. So it's pretty easy to get ranked up there if it's working for you. Now remember though, it's gonna take 48 minutes for our production of this strong. So remember to watch for that production time because you wanna match that with your buyer reset that you made the flavor for. If the buyer is gonna reset 
before your production is done. You want to get back into this menu before your production is done. Check what the requests are and maybe change your flavoring to match what's wanted right then. So you have a good sale at the end. Well, Kalpoka, I hope you guys are having a lot of fun with the Moonshiner as we are. I know it's really frustrating. There are a lot of glitches right now. We've gotten black screens in the bootlegger. We've actually lost our shine production halfway through and had to restart and get it done. Hopefully Rockstar is getting those issues fixed. When it works great. The Moonshiner roll is definitely a lot of fun to hang out with friends and just have a good time while your shine's being made, as you can see we're doing here. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, and in the bar, but until then, see you later.